What does the units per time format setting do and how should I set it in Primavera P6? Hey, I'm Michael and we're talking about Primavera P6 settings. In a previous video, I covered all the settings here in this time units tab, but I left out units per time format. Let's cover it now. So units per time, this applies to a bunch of different fields where I have values like four hours per day. It's all about resourcing and resource assignments. So when I assign a resource to an activity, I get to define how many hours per day they work. That's called a units per time field. And there's a whole bunch of them, which I'll show you. And here on this setting, we get to choose whether it's hours per day or as a percent. Okay. So which one should I choose and why do I care? Well, let's look at this as a percent first. So let's choose show as a percentage, set this, and let's go and have a look at some of these fields in P6. So I've got a project open and look at the assignment on this resources tab. So I'm looking at my CPM crew. This is compound setup crew. And here we have the budgeted units per time and you can see it shows as 500%. So we've set it to percentage and that's the result we get. Well, it's kind of nice actually to see it as a percentage because what that means is I've assigned potentially five people from this crew to this activity because it's 500%. And we would assume that 100% would mean that there's one person assigned to this activity. But the problem we have here is, is it a proper assumption or not? Is it actually five people or is it more than that? less than that. How many hours per day is it? Let's move on to the resources tab. Let's look at this crew, the CPM crew here on the resources tab. And you'll see two other instances of these units per time field. So here we have the max units per time on the units and prices field displayed as a percentage. The max units per time field means, uh, represents the, the maximum amount of productive capability I have from that resource. So it's set to 500. And we'll also see this here on the details tab where we have the default units per time. It's also set to 500. So now that we've seen what it looks like as a percent, let's flip it back. Let's go back to edit user preferences and set our units per time format back to units per duration or hours per day. Okay, so now we can see, oh, 50 hours per day. Now I understand what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, the percentage model looks really nice because it, it seems to easily show you it's 500%, you know, five times 100%, five people assigned to an activity. But actually, I really want to scrutinize the hours per day in this. I want to make sure that I get it right. So it's better to work in the hours per day setting. So here we can see our default units per time is 50 hours per day. Our max units per time is 50 hours per day. And back to the activity, I can see that I have assigned the crew at 50 hours per day. Again, in P6, that means your productive capability. This resource, this crew can accomplish 50 hours of work in a day. Okay. That's what that means. So my recommendation to you is to not work with that percentage, even though it seems like it's a really nice, easy way to see how many people are assigned. You really do want to scrutinize that you've got this set for the right number of hours per day and that it matches your calendar. So for example, if we go back to our resource setup, you can see that I've got a five day by 10 hour calendar. If I had a percentage, I would, would know if I'm matching my calendar or not. So that's important. Um, I'm just going to show you this. I was just playing around and I think it's important that you understand the default. So watch this. If I add a new resource, if I add a new resource here, see it, it picks up automatically 10 hours per day here and 10 hours per day. And it picks up those values from the resource that, that it's uh, in the hierarchy above it. So the parent resource. 
So for example, if I come down here to labor resources and I add a new resource, here we'll have picked up the eight hours per day and the eight hours per day from the parent resource there. So it's a difference. So again, that's why I want us to be working in the hours per day format. If I was in a percentage format, they would both just show 100% and you wouldn't know exactly what your hours per day is. Okay, so it's a bit of a complex issue. As you can see, I'm starting to talk a little bit of advanced planning stuff. Long story short, working the hours per day for your units in time format, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Hope you got some value here. I'm Michael, see you in another Ask Plan Academy video. If you wanna learn more about P6 settings and how to use P6 to manage projects, please check out some of our courses. We have an advanced course, we have a foundations course, and they would be perfect for you to get your P6 certificate and become a master at Primavera P6.